In the past three or four years, there has been astonishing growth in chess engine performance. Hi, I'm Zilin Lee, and today I'll be talking about some of the important advancements behind that growth. This video will focus on two leading algorithms, Stockfish and Off to Zero. This video presupposes that you have a general understanding of the Minimax Alpha Beta Pruning and Monte Carlo Search Tree algorithms for gain agents, as well as a very cursory understanding of neural networks. <laughs> I've included some links to materials describing these algorithms in the description in case you would like a refresher before you continue with my video. I'll only have time to give a very brief discussion of the two engines we focus on today. So if this video piques your interest, my bibliography for this video is listed in the description and also in the PowerPoint to which I've included a link. The Stockfish chess engine performs a variant of alpha beta pruning on a minimax search tree. In Stockfish's variant of alpha beta pruning, instead of evaluating to a fixed step on all branches of the search tree, the Stockfish engine will evaluate branches that are less likely to be played by an optimal opponent to a shallower death, while it might spend longer evaluating the branches for the best moves. Like traditional alpha beta pruning, it might still ignore branches that it believes results from this ridiculously bad play. Stockfish 12 with the NNUE evaluation function, still uses the same algorithm as all its predecessors to play chess. However, according to the official Stockfish blog, version 12 of Stockfish plays significantly stronger than any of its predecessors. In a match against Stockfish 11, Stockfish 12 will typically win at least 10 times more game pairs than it loses. So what makes Stockfish 12 so different? The answer is in the NNUE evaluation function. While traditionally chess engines evaluate game states based on handcrafted evaluation functions, I consider the number and types of pieces left on the board and their positioning, and chess lingo that is pawn structure, piece activation, material, king safety, etc. Stockfish 12 uses the NNUE neural network by UNASCO. As a neural network, NNUE is a special in that it very it is very cleverly optimized to run very quickly. In fact, it can evaluate a state in only twice as long as it takes for a traditional evaluation function. If you're interested in how this works, please check out the link in the description. However, NNUE is trained using Stockfish's own pre-evaluated positions as ground truths, meaning that the training data is labeled with the score Stockfish itself assigned to a position after evaluating to a higher depth. This means that ultimately, Stockfish 12 is still using human-crafted evaluation functions. The use of NNUE simply allows it to essentially approximate the results of having looked much deeper in the search tree than it really did. Now we move on to AlphaZero. At its core, AlphaZero works on a variant of the Monte Carlo tree search algorithm. In a normal naive implementation of Monte Carlo tree search, the search tree is expanded to a certain depth, for example, one half move, at which point a simulation is run one or more times for each successor state, meaning that moves are played uniformly at random until the game ends, and the resulting score is assigned to the node on which we started the simulation. <laughs> AlphaZero is trained by using Monte Carlo tree search to run millions of games in order to generate data with which to train a deep convolutional neural network, which can estimate both how good a move is and how many previously unseen positions that move will, un will uncover when we run a simulation on it. This allows AlphaZero to pick the most promising lines to evaluate, much like a human would. On any given move, AlphaZero will first pick nodes to run simulations on with the goal of exploring the search space. Then it has gathered more and then as it has gathered more information, start to run simulations with the goal of evaluating the merit on the best lines it has found. This means that given enough time to train its neural networks, Alpha Zero can evaluate all relevant positions it needs to with a much sparser search tree than that expanded by Stockfish. Alpha Zero can for perform much better than a pre-NNUE version of Stockfish with a search tree containing a thousand times fewer nodes. However, the extra complexity in AlphaZero's neural network, plus the need to run simulations, means that on similar hardware, it will take about a thousand times longer to evaluate each node. <laughs> it is awesome to think about the implications of the fact that AlphaZero can compar perform comparably to Stockfish when Stockfish has the advantage of centuries of human-derived chess theory. It is interesting that although Stockfish is an engine with all the human chess theory behind it, the way AlphaZero uses neural networks to decide which line to, cons to decide which line to consider is eerily similar to the way a human chess player would use their intuition to do the same. On that note, thanks for watching.